All right, and starting us off on night two here in Glendale, Arizona. Killer Rose, who was last seen. What match was that in? Oh, the Survivor match where she teamed with uh, AJ Adams and Morgan, and they didn't fare too well. Uh, Miko actually gave them the business. If I'm not mistaken, she was the uh, she was the MVP that particular match. And uh, yeah, the Queendom ran roughshod, but. We'll have to see how the Queendom does here coming with Season 2. And, uh, yeah. With that, though, right now, Killer Rose is in the ring awaiting her opponent, the current NHW Women's Champion, winning it from Moto Madison, who is, yeah, still our longest reigning champion. Um, but Taylor Webb, actually... And she took it from our longest reigning champion, Moto Madison, as I said. That match was, it was unexpected. You know, it was unexpected to see her win that match. But then to, uh, I mean, she didn't really have to declare for this. <laughs> uh, she was going to be in it regardless. But uh, the alignment that she has with the Black Label Society is one that kind of irks me, but... So does the Black Label Society, in case you didn't know. Um, but hey, it is what it is, and she is in this tournament to see if she can avoid. Well, either way, she's going to have to face somebody for that championship. That's just how it is. And Killer Rose has a big task ahead of her, but if she can knock her off, hey, you know what that does for you. And I'm not sure what she was aiming for there. But now she's going to drift away. And we saw with night one how um, Kinky Tammy wasn't playing any games. But it was ultimately Lexi, the, uh, the veteran herself, uh, taking that victory. And now we'll see who she's facing from here. Ooh, cut her out of nowhere. See if she goes for the pin off that. No, she's not. Okay. She is going to try to stretch out that arm. Just stretches it all out of place. Jesus. I don't I don't want to. Ooh. And Killer Rose has some. Uh oh. Ooh, that sleeper. Here we go. In the ropes. I heard the ref say it. She was in the ropes. And Killer Rose is taunting again. We've been telling her about that taunting. Doesn't always work. That does, though. Kind of a DDT using your legs. Why not? Goes in for the pin against the champ. One. Not quite. <laughs> Ooh, kick to the back. That's a big kick to the back. We're going to try to work on her now. Wear her down a little bit. Not mad at it. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But uh, that face says that she was not expecting her to do that. This is, ooh. This is the women's champion you are running in there against. And wow, what a move there. Runs her into the corner. And what is she doing here? Ooh, big kick to the face. All right, we like it. And into the pin she goes. One, two. Only a two count there. Killer Rose able to kick out. Ooh, and I hate this move. Just gonna throw that arm all out of place, huh? Just, yeah, just ooh, screw your arm. Ooh, the hell with it. <laughs> and here's, ooh, here's where Killer Rose is gonna have a problem. She is the champ for a reason. Working on that leg, but I don't think she's done nearly enough damage. No, she had to let her go. Ooh, kick to the chest area. Now just going to work on that arm again. I mean, if, why are you punishing her? I don't understand it. Just go ahead and stop, stop playing around. 
and she jumps over goes up to the top rope what is she going for here calling for her to get up and killer rose slowly obliges Ooh, jumping neck breaker from the top rope and killer rose goes to the apron she is not having it Ooh. Ooh, big kick to the face there and into the ankle lock but I think that's going to be a rope break because she is right there in the ropes yep as I thought got to think about your ring placement there and into the rope cover one two and still only a two count and these women need to understand just like with last night um you gotta pay attention you know time is ooh, that might help but time is of the essence for the fact you don't want too much damage to be taken oh That is an interesting little development. Um, wow, I'm a little in shock to be honest. I was not expecting, but I mean, that probably started it right there. Wow, this, that roundhouse kick to the head. I don't think uh, Lexi's gonna like that too much, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Killer Rose with the three count advancing to the next round of the tournament so there will be a uh, a new challenger either way it goes for the women's championship because the women's champion was just knocked off in the first round we've been seeing that a lot the last two nights the former women's champions of NHW just getting knocked off but it is what it is let's get to it And as we move on to the second match here, the uh, the girlfriend of uh, Corey Awesome here, Miko Hirai, is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring from Yamaguchi, Japan, Cutie Pie. I guess she's trying to pop them bubbles. But anyway, um, I mean, the last time we saw her, she was a uh, dominating people I mean dominating them uh, out there with the uh, the survivor match I mean just it was it was kind of wrong <laughs> how, how she was doing I'm pretty sure she tapped out two if not all three of them I'd have to go back and watch but yeah it is what it is and so she is facing tonight um, someone who we secretly signed like we didn't announce it publicly or anything and but from Richmond, Virginia, e. Evans. and Elena Evans here we, we secretly brought her on you know not too much known about her um, but hey why not you know we trying to expand it here she was oh I thought she I didn't know what she was doing she's walking like she had cartwheels and flips on her mind even though we've seen those not do so well whoa yeah I'm too big to do that I'm not agile enough to do that I'd be done killed myself broke my damn neck anyway we're gonna see which one of these two is gonna go on to face killer rose who had an impressive shocking amazing <laughs> little go of it there and uh, yeah let's see what happens here and there goes the bell and we'll see what happens Atlanta starting off early oh wait oh drives her head right into the middle turnbuckle and the fun loving Miko is going to have to turn it on the way she did at Survivor if she plans on beating somebody that uh, is trying her best to uh, you know get her a shot at, at, at the women's championship and as I said, we do have a surprise. Uh, last night, we do have a surprise we are working on for the uh, for the ladies here. Because why not? I mean, we have 20 of them. 
You, you can't just discard ladies wrestling. It's important, especially the way some of them have been going. Some of our best matches have been the ladies just going to town on each other. Like Natalia and Julian from last night. That was a match. And then Natalia versus Lexi, that was a match. Hey, we signed the talent here. And into the pin is Miko won. Just a one count. She might have to go for that. I don't even want to call it a sharpshooter. She just kind of twists your legs up and manipulates your body. And Elena here is having a bit of an issue. Ooh. And Miko works her over, but I mean, as we've seen before, she might be using all of her energy early and wind up getting messed up. And no tap there. Ooh. And a big old bulldog. Haven't seen one of those since, uh, oh, oh, that dance. Ooh. Mm, just bulldozing her. Uh-oh, missed the clothesline. Mm, gave her a flying one of her own, and now she's in the corner all hooked up. And Uh-oh, went for a kick, missed that. And now Miko with an assisted bulldog from the ropes and goes in for the pin. Ref in position one. Wow, still barely a one count. And just like with all the other matches, I know that you want to uh, prove your might, but you really need to consider the fact that, uh, oh, she might be out. That's it, count to a million. Or not, or just two. Two and a possible. Huh. Ain't nothing major. You know what I'm saying? Just make me look stupid. Jesus. I wasn't expecting her to just dump you on your head like that. Now these two are having a little bit of a battle here. Ooh. Miko. Oh, there, there it is. This. This is how she. Wow. That was how she dominated the Survivor match, but Elena either has done her homework or has some previous ties with Miko because she was very prepared for that. And she got choked out on the top rope. Sends her into the corner. Ooh. Drop kick to the spine. I can't feel good. And around and up and down right to the back. These two still going at it here. Uh oh, ooh, big spine buster there. I'm gonna do a little taunting there. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. How? Only a two. Oh boy, I thought she's about to catch her in a choke. Oh, here we go. Axe handles everywhere. Ooh, runs the shoulder in. Goes back, Wee! going in with the mm, big back elbow, and she's got her up with that. Oh, mm, version of an emerald fusion, and she said, "I raise you a no sell, but that you have to sell." That spinning Death Valley driver. Ugh. Now she's on the top rope, and what is she waiting for up there? To drop an elbow in her back. Oh, and there she goes again. She's on those legs, stretching her out. Nowhere for her to go, and she has no choice but to tap out. Ow! And I just hit the commentary desk, and you heard it, and it hurt. But yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Miko is going on to the next round to face Killer Rose and uh, I'm actually very interested to see how this turns out very interested so uh, with that in mind congratulations to her yeah just dumped her oh, why not right on her head yeah I thought it was over but no just a two count she go this I don't yeah that's oh she held her arms too I couldn't see that wow all right and there Here's she is the 
that dance she's doing. All right, yep. <clears throat> Let's get on to uh, the next match. And now, coming to the ring. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring from Houston, Texas, Marissa Payne. And Marissa representing Black Excellence here, who ran roughshod all over season one, to be honest. I mean, former women's champion came out of them, the current world champion, former tag team champions, former television champion, all came from one group. Um, now, Marissa has not been able to capture that women's championship yet, but hey, here's an opportunity for her <laughs> to go ahead and give it a shot and see what we got going on. And she is very, uh, she's a powerful individual with her moves. She, uh, no wasted motion. You get in the work, all that work, in, in quick, quick order. But her opponent here. And her opponent from Shanghai, China, the superstar. Riho Shanghua, I think I, I probably tore that up again, but Riho here actually has had two shots at the uh, women's champion when it was Moto Madison. She earned one and then Moto was very happy with the match and they had another match to see if she would face her again, in which she didn't and that's when Taylor Webb came through and took the title, which I know that Killer Rose is going to be all over that one. But that's for a later time. Um, <laughs> um, but Rio has, you know, she's proven herself here. And we're going to see if she can do it again. Maybe win this one and move it along there. So we have Marissa. We have Rio. We have the ref and the timer. We have the bell. And we're going to start off dropping Marissa on her head with a DDT. Why not? You know, kicks her and makes her fall over and oh. And wee, ooh, big deadlift power bomb there. I'm gonna lift Marissa up now. I'm gonna choke her out a little bit. <laughs> Takes her back down, just working the neck just a tad, just a touch. And let her up, and oh, takes her down with an. Innovative looking head scissors hurricane rana mix going on there. We'll have to find out the actual name of that move and <laughs> But that knee though, I know what that was. That was just a knee taking her straight to the ground and now Marissa is in a bad way. She got folded up like an accordion. Ooh, missed that elbow. I know them knees had to hurt. And now Marissa, again with that power, just walking her out. Uh oh. And they do have to think about the 10 count here. Because if you get counted out, you know, both of you are gone. Oof. And if both of you are gone, that means that whoever wins the next match will get a free trip to the finals. We don't want to do that now, do we? So, on to this. And Marissa working on that arm with my favorite move. Jesus, Lord, just going to tear the whole arm out. And lifts her up to one knee. What's she gonna do here? Oh, hip toss. Mm, 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 mm. And drops an elbow right into the right into that doll. Oh, Ow, that's how you separate an arm. And Rio is getting up and might be in a dangerous situation. Never mind. All right, that Spanish fly was out of nowhere. We'll take it though. Ooh, oh, kick to the gut. Marissa was not a fan of it. Double underhooks are in. But Rio able to escape, lifts her up. Emerald Fusion into the pin. One, just a one count to ever resilient Marissa. And I think Marissa might have some trouble coming her way. Oh God, double foot stomp right to the ground from the standing position. That's got to suck. It's not knees. These is just foot. That's all your weight on somebody. 
even though she couldn't get the three count right there. But Riho, being smart, staying on the attack, and a little choke out going on there. We've seen a lot of that. Because you don't want to tire yourself out. You still got at least one more match, either way it goes, for whoever wins. Ooh, now gonna get real intimate with that top turnbuckle. I mean, real intimate. Whew. Gonna flip her over into the pin. One, two. And I don't think you scrambled her brains enough. And Marissa's now mad. She no sold that kick with a passion. And ooh, backdrop into the uh, Uranagi type deal going on there. Throws her into the corner. Throws her out of the corner. Up, up, and. Big punch to the face. Beautiful drop kick. Ducks under the clothesline. And returns the favor from earlier with that double foot stomp. Did not go for the pin. Picks her right on up. And going up. And oh, Osaka Street Kata. Into the pin. One, two. And Riho kicks out now, and Marissa is shocked and confused. But now Riho is getting up, and there might be some problems on the horizon. The prey has been stopped, takes her around. Oh! Oh, God, caught her again with them damn feet. And goes right into the pin. One, two, three. And Riho has won against Marissa and. A hard, hard fought matchup so far. And Marissa take nothing away from her. Hopefully King Malcolm doesn't try to replace her. Um, because that was a... It, it, nothing, you, you can't do nothing against that. It, you just can't. Osaka Street cut her. Just caught her flush with that one. I mean, you just... Hey, you gotta hold that. Hooks the leg, but not able to do it. Went for the finish there, but caught those feet instead. Winner, and Riho is moving on to the next round. Congratulations to her. And uh, let's get on to the next one. And here we go with... Um, Someone we've seen quite a little bit of here. Um, unfortunately, Kyle Valentine did not make it for reasons that kind of break the fourth wall, but whatever. Um, <laughs> now coming to the ring, AJ. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring. From Rapid City, South Dakota, AJ Adams. And AJ Adams here, you know. Um, I know that pyro had to burn her butt. Um, but yeah, she's uh, she's in this. And um, hey, according to her, her promoter, there we go. According to her promoter on Twitter, she's already won. So we'll see how that turns out for her. Because she has someone that we actually um, gave a full-time contract to. I'm not afraid to say it. And someone who pressed us. From Paris Island, South Carolina, Danielle Donaldson. Someone who impressed us heavily last season with her appearances that she did have. And that is Danielle Donaldson here. Coming to the ring from South Carolina. I'm pretty sure... The ring announcer already said that, but whatever. It, it is what it is. She uh, she impressed us, and then she had a tryout match over the little break. And, hey, when you win those, you win us. And so she talked with the GM, and the GM was like, okay, <laughs> here we go. So there we have how she got her full-time contract for Season 2. And we'll see what becomes of it here as she tries to make her way towards the finals 
And there's AJ, Danielle, Ref, Timer, and the Bell. And we're starting off with a Famouser, because why not? And Danielle is feeling it. She knows that she has this contract, and she is really trying to fight for it. But this is not a good way to start off. Oof. Just dropped on your neck with a tombstone. With a, like a reverse tombstone. And, oh, whoa. The tap out early? The tap out early? No tap out early. Oof. Mmm. Left your face wide open there. That hello, <laughs> and Danielle helping her up a little bit, mm, giving her the big boot across her face. These two women seem to be evenly matched so far. One is going for my favorite move, I'm trying to tear her shoulder out of place. Cause why not? You know that's what we do. I'm gonna throw her over there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, thought she was going over the top. And whoo, came back in. Oh, for the slap. And mm, final cut. Anything else you got you want to let us know about? She's on the top rope trying to earn her way here. Uh oh. Whoopsies. Missed with them knees. And now you get deposited on the outside of the ring. And now it's time for AJ to go to work if she wants to win this match. But as as I've said many, many times so far, you don't want this to go any longer than you have to because you got to see your next opponent. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to be tired, gassed, and beat up by the time you get to him. Even though we've had some bangers of matches so far. Uh-oh. Wee big back body drop. We'll lift her up. What we got? Oh oh oh! Oh good lord! Into the stunner. Okay, all right. Is that was that what we're looking for here? No, nope. we're going into the pin. Ref into position. One, I two. Who? What? Uh, okay, I'm. I, I want to argue, but I don't have it in me. Going on to the next round is Danielle Donaldson. Um, congratulations to her. And while she celebrates, let's get ready to go on to the next matchup. Alright, and as we start round two here, Killer Rose, who did win her first match against the women's champion. So that happened. Um, <laughs> she is now going to. Uh... The following contest is a championship tournament semifinals match. Making her way to the ring. Beautiful Rose. Killer Rose is gonna have to see if she can, uh, if she can make it past uh, Miko and that that submission hold of hers. I, I swear to you, I do not know what to call it. Might have to uh, ask old Steinberg what it's called. <laughs> And if you're watching this and you do have a move or a name that you would like to call your move, please let me know. The DMs are always open at NH Wrestling Call. From Yamaguchi, Japan, Cutie Pie. So, you know, like I said, just let me know there, here, anywhere. And, uh, yeah. Let's rock. Um, but, yeah, uh, no, she beat Evelyn. Not Evelyn. Jesus. She beat her last match with the that same move that she held off everybody in the Survivor match with. I mean, she's got this fun-loving persona, but obviously there's something else deep down <laughs> in that in that uh up under that hat. 
So, Killer Rose, Miko, semifinals. Who's going to the finals? And that's the second match she has started off with whatever that was supposed to be and failed. And a kick to the spine for her troubles. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. All right, then, Miko. Get you a little combination platter in there. And then catch the tip of an elbow to your forehead. Because you won. Whoa. Mm. Kick to the back. And ooh. It elevated flatliner. Kicks her over. And it's going for it early again. You got to remember the damage from the last match might take its toll. Not yet, though. Runs her into the corner with that clothesline, though. And it's going to bring her out the same. Oof. Just deposits her on the mat. Oh, my Lord. Jumping DDT face first. Nothing to protect yourself. Just flat out face into the mat. And woo, big boot to the face. And Miko being smart, getting out to the apron. And Killer Rose is saying, nah, come on here. Come get this work. This work. But, uh, mm -hmm. strong right hand taking her all the way down. And they need to save themselves. Well, try to. You really can't because you're going you're gonna to go all out. As I know someone who says that, you're going to go all out trying to uh, trying to win. Because you want to go to the finals and then you want to, you know, go into oof, deposits. One, two. And you want to go all out because you want to go to the finals and have your chance to go up against uh, Miss Lexi. Oh, that insane elbow. Straight into the cover. One, two, still only a two count. Miko, you know what you got to do. Killer Rose, you know what you got to do. Somebody's foot got to be somebody's face. Or you got to hook up them legs and whatever you call that move. But anyway, yeah, you know, you, you, yep, there it is. That's the one. And I don't understand. I really, I need to go into training or something and somebody show me how that works. Because that should not, I don't, under, maybe it's my knee, well, my knees are bad, so that might not be a good idea. I might tap in seconds. But yeah, no, it, it, that elbow, wee, right to the chest, into the pin, was not able to get the victory there, but you, you saw how she did it. I told her how she had to do it, and Killer Rose needed to kick her in the face, but no, we're gonna just extend that. And she had nowhere to go, and taps out, ring the bell, ding ding, Miko Herai going on to the finals. And here we go with the second semi final match with Miss Riho here. Trying to make it to the finals to face Miko. Making her way to the ring from Shanghai, China, the superstar. And uh, as I said, you know, she's trying to get to the finals to face Miko, but she has an obstacle in her way, a freshly signed and uh, just <laughs> hungry for it. Um, Danielle Donaldson to deal with. I'm going to be honest with you. After her performance in that last match, I, I hate making bets because I always lose. But anyway, as we, as I said, as we said, I'm the only one on commentary. Listen to me. As I said. As I said, Danielle Donaldson coming to the ring, and um, I'm not even—I'm not even mad about it. You know what I'm saying? She's, uh, 
she got that fresh contract and she decided to put on a show in that last match um, shocked me not even going front on it um, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I know some other shocked people as well but hey when you're trying to get towards a ladies championship why you gotta go you gotta do it you gotta put everything out there and hold nothing back even though I mean in this case you got the finals next so you want to give a little bit more you know you don't want to just go out here and stink up the joint but there's Riho there's Danielle there's the ref and let's get to it and Rio's just gonna start off by throwing her around with her foot not wasting any time getting on the attack early <sighs> trying to throw that arm out of place kicks her over ooh elbow to the back and then just beats on it Oof. shows a little strength there a little bit of the gains deadlift into that power bomb we saw earlier probably yes Oh, into the pin, too. Here we go. One. Just a one count. Trying to show that she doesn't get paid by the hour. <laughs> Ooh, sling blade. Picks her up, and Danielle not having it. Ooh, European uppercut. And lifts her up and deposits her on the top rope. Now he's going to drag her to the closer to the middle of the ring and go in for the pin I do not think so my friend missed with the kick don't know how got that one though flush and Riho trying to get up and just gave her uh, an assist to kick her guts into her back somewhere whoa flips over Whoop, drop down Lifts her up. Ooh, dumped her right on her knee. Go to sleep, my friend. One, two. Only a two count there. Rio is actually surprised. Danielle is cl as close to unconscious as you can be. Lifts her up. Uh oh, reverses her again with another European uppercut. And now, oh, she was going to throw her, but no, she's got her foot on the right way. Oh, oh, reverses. Just a one count. We had some small packages going on there. Uh oh. Oh. Mm, that DDT was rude. Now just standing there. Why are you just standing there? You just gonna let her get up? And you missed. But the revenge tour is on route. Ooh. Hangs her up on the top rope. Oh, knees. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Ow. <laughs> Very much Al. Oh, went for something there. Ooh. And, you know, we... This can't end... Oh, that had to hurt. But this can't end out there. I mean... What... Are you really gonna give Miko a free trip to the to the title? Because if both of y'all get counted out, Miko wins. Ooh. All right. Ooh, Danielle showing a little bit of fight. Flips her over, goes ahead, goes in for the pin. One, two. Still only a two count there. You can tell that she's tired from the last match, breathing heavily. Ooh, flips her over. Now she's going to kind of work on that arm, try to get herself back together. Because, I mean, you just, it was a, it was a match. It was a match, match. Oh, dear. What is she looking for here? She goes all the way across the ring and tries to kick her head off. And the ref into position. One, two. You can't get no closer to three. You cannot do it. Oh, 
clothesline. Another lariat into the corner, up and a clothesline into the corner, off the ropes. You can tell that she has trained in Justice Rage at some point in her life. And oh, there's that stunner again. Into the pin, the ref into position. One, two. Still only a two count. All right. <laughs> and she's waiting for her to get up again. Oh, the super kick. And she is tired. Just falls on her. One, two. And <laughs> Rio is not having it. She can. She. Danielle has got to be tired. Oh, man. She has exerted so much energy. Ooh. Elbow to the forehead. And oh, there it is. And now is when you need to be worried. Up and down and into the pin. One, two. And Rio a little bit upset at that. And into the corner she goes. Poor Danielle is lost, has no idea what's going on. And, oh, reverses that. Oh, hits her with the big knee. And now going to take a trip to the top rope. Matches can be won and lost from there. Oh, double foot stomp. And into the pin she goes. Let's see what happens. One. A two. -hoo. Right. Well, Rio ain't done with you yet. You know. Just, uh. <laughs> it's as I'm checking out things. Still trying to get the website together. So don't worry about that. Got her. Got her with that stunner again. Oh, but she picks her up. Wait. Drags her over to the corner. Oop, and now it's time to get real acquainted with that. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. And here we go again. Danielle is lost. Not for long. I yeah no I don't I don't think you're gonna get up from now one Danielle I lied I very much lied <laughs> these two are going at it gotta be a winner though so I mean hey whoo ooh big power bomb there and I think the games are over, Danielle. You have had it. Had double foot stomp. All that weight just right on her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These two ladies are going at it, trying to get to the finals here. And Danielle's getting up again and just got driven back into the ground for a third time there's there's no way it's broken it's broken it's got to be broken <laughs> and Rio showing her irritation with this and jumps off with the big fist drop kick ducks under the clothesline Double foot stomp for a third and or fourth time. I am not sure. I know that that cutter had to hurt though. And now she's going to lift her up. Catches an elbow to her head for her problems. Oh, screw that knee up. Oh my lord, what was that? Mm, that is a bitter end. One, two... <laughs> a two count. We got five minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. 
These two are going at it to get to the finals. That is the fifth time. Just stay down, Danielle. Good God, you already have the contract. There we go. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That was, uh, man, oh, man, that was, uh, something. Wow. That was a good matchup between these two. I, it could have literally gone either way. I am bravo to both. Because they really went to war trying to put each other away. And hey, it took four double stomps to the chip. We'll be seeing a lot more of Danielle. She really did earn that contract. But here we go. We are going on to the finals now. Miko has to face that lady for the opportunity to go face the veteran, the 20 time champion, Lexi. Let's... All right, now let's get to these finals. Miko here with that uh, leg submission that she does. The following contest is the final in the championship tournament. Make yeah, what well, she said. To the ring from Yamaguchi, Japan, Cutie Pie. And from Japan, one from Japan, one from China. They are getting ready to go at it to see who will face the veteran Lexi um, on our first show of the season, which I'm actually considering our first show being a pay-per-view. Why not? What? Just jump into it flat away. You know what I'm saying? It just, yeah, would be a good idea. I think I got a name for it too, so that'll be awesome. But anyway, <laughs> these two are about to go at it. And her opponent from Shanghai, China, the superstar. And Riho here is uh, as excited as anyone. I mean, she in these tournaments, she is. Uh, I think she's only got two losses in total, and both were to Moto Madison. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. So that is what it is, and um, that's what we know. That's where we're at now. We're gonna hold on to that. Put that feather in the cap for later, because I'm gonna have to go back and look. And once the website is up, um, you will be able to track your wins and losses. And as you might or might not have seen we have rules and don't be four and twelve trying to get a shot at the champ it's not how it works unless it's the tv title and woo, miko starting off hot she, she did have a little bit more mess mess rest than riho riho just kind of uh she got shoved in <laughs> the, it just kind of happened you know what i'm saying she uh she was gonna get it regardless because she just, you know, she literally just got out of a match. She went to the back and then came right back out after a glass of water. So, Miko here. Ooh. Oh, straight into the pen. Smart move. One. You have to remember all that Riho just went through with Danielle Donaldson. And in my opinion, so far, has been the match of both nights. I mean... Dude, we did have a hard-hitting affair over there with uh, Natalia and Julian, but nothing like this. Whoa, whoa. Is she dead? Did you concuss her? Is she dead? I wouldn't be surprised she didn't get up. She landed on, like, everything from her neck and face down to her midsection. The ref is letting it continue, though. Miko goes over the top and strong right hand takes her down. We are still utilizing the 10 count. Hey, if you got to win by a count out at this point, ain't the worst. That had to hurt. Just body slam on the apron because, you know, this is what we do. But, uh, 
in case you did miss last night in your house will become um oof a big th a uh, it will become the the replacement for shock value shock value will either turn into a pay-per-view or just be it deleted all the way through then just go to sleep and hand on the rope i heard the ref say break from here and lifts her up Woo. When she cocked that hand back, she was getting that bad intentions on it, and ooh, big kick to the spine, and went for that double foot stomp and missed, and now she gets deposited on the outside. Riho and Miko going at it here. And ooh, throws her onto the barrier there. We'll lift her up and deposit her on the barrier, and oof. Just a straight kick to the side of her head, right in the temple area. That ain't no good. Oh, kick takes her down with one leg. Ooh, ooh, combination. Com oh, never mind. She hit that combo platter in the last match. Both of these women, ooh, have fought hard to get here. But that might be over with that uh, flatliner. Bitter end, whatever y'all want to call it. Ref into position one. Only a one count here. I don't know how these two could put on a matchup better than what we just saw. Jesus! That backhand was full of bad intentions. Just like that kick to the back of her head. You know, they, they just got it. Modern problems calls for modern solutions. Big spine buster. And now she's going up top. Is she about to slide that elbow? She sure is. Wee! Uh-oh. No, nobody was home. Good Lord. Kicked her right in the back of the head, it looked like. And now she's... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Woo! Deadlift. Miko having a bit of an issue. Ooh, sit out. Powerbomb. We've seen that before. Now she's in the corner waiting for her to get up. Miko looks lost. Runs over and... Oh, that DDT. Pushes her over. Shoots the half into the pin. One. Two. It's only a two. No three. So, we continue on with the matchup. And Miko Wee takes her down. <laughs> oh, man. Don't mind me. Is she going for that elbow again? She is. She is determined. She caught her flush that time. Could barely get up to her feet after hitting it. It does not go for the pin. I would have went for the pin. Because you literally had to knock all the air out of her when you hit her with that. Ooh. Oh my lord, she just fell. Do we need a doctor? Is she alright? Somebody check her. She just kind of fell over. Okay. Oh, went for that slap again. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, wait, no. Oh. Deposits her right on her head. Well, not on her head. Kinda. She didn't deposit her on the mat by her head. Oh, there it is. Stretching them legs. But the break had to happen because the ropes are right there. Miko. Gonna lock her up another way? Alright. Yeah, a reverse figure four. That should do it. And Riho has nowhere to go. She, I don't know if she's long enough to reach the ropes. No. Mm, slapping that leg. Get off me. Ooh, big elbow to the back. We. Uh oh. Okay. All right. That was. That was neat. Ooh, that cutter. Mm, that cutter. Into the pin. One, 
two. Still only a two count. You're not going to get her that easily. <laughs> and here we go. Miko got up too soon, and now she's about to possibly feel that. Oh, no. She's not feeling that DDT today. Ran her into the corner. Now off the rope she goes. Just washed her face. Good gracious. Oh, and here we go again. She's got both legs, and she's got that stretch. And... <laughs> Okay, so your winner of the second night of the women's tournament is Miko Hirai. I, I don't have to have that move looked at. <laughs> oh man, I am. Hey, it was a great matchup. Um, she was able to get the yeah that right there just two fists right in the gut she just just went down and then this yeah she deposited her not on her head well the back of her head did hit the back of her head so we'll take that but anyway you know what to do just like with last night do the liking the commenting the subscribing and we will see you as season two comes to you live in a couple weeks have a good one